Hello, welcome to Slashers and I'm Crypt here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, for today's video, I'll be talking about time splinters because, <laughs> man, 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 we got an update. For those of you guys who do not know what Time Splinters is, it is a first person shooter franchise and it's a lot like GoldenEye and Perfect Dark because it was made by a lot of the developers that worked on those games. And another additional fact is I so happen to be a big fan of these games. You might not remember but I did a video update like I think about two years ago on Time Splinters 4 because THQ Nordic bought the rights and I heard something really weird like they don't have the rights anymore or something I don't know but we got this new update and we're just gonna dive into it because it's, it's juicy along with this new picture that is pretty much just a statement the picture is captioned a new deep silver studio is coming free radical design oh yes that is right free radical design if you guys do not know who they are, I'm gonna explain after I read what is on this picture because I need to read this for you guys because it's pretty awesome. So to read what the picture says, Free Radical Design, a new Deep Silver Studio. You asked and we listened. We have been working on plans to bring the Time Splinter franchise back to life and are pleased to let you know that we are setting up a new Deep Silver development studio to do just that. Free Radical Design is reforming. It will be headed up by industry and Time Splinters veterans Steve Ellis and David Doak. This is an exciting first step in the process. Development on a new game has not started yet and we will update you when we have more news to share. Man, that... That's some great news really good news i've been waiting so long for another one of these games and it's really looking like that in a couple years we could see that new game come out finally and free radical design let me get into them because they were around years ago that's the original development studio that made time splinters that put time splinters on the map and they're back that's super big news because the last game that they actually made that was under the Free Radical Design name was a little game called Haze and it did so terribly, Haze pretty much killed them. But to know that Deep Silver is literally bringing back Free Radical Design to do Time Splinters and pretty much two of the people that are responsible for making the games in the first place are coming back? That's tremendous news. That's the best news ever, and I just can't wait. I'm ready for this. I'm a super big fan of these games, and seeing that they are actually trying to bring it back means a lot to me because I grew up playing these games. And yes, Time Splitters has not started development yet. It says that they're going to keep us updated, so I might have to like turn on notifications for Deep Silver or something because... I'm going to really have to keep an eye on what they're doing because if they're literally talking about bringing back the series and Free Radical Design, I'm going to have to really be at my A game keeping up to date with the news on this. Before I end off the video, I just want to voice how excited I am for this new Time Splinters game to come out. We're not sure if it's Time Splinters 4 or if it's just a straight up reboot. It doesn't sound like they're going to make a remaster though because... The way they worded it, they said a new Time Splinters game, so we can expect something new. I just hope that it's not too much of a departure from the original games. I hope that it has the same vibe, the same kind of music. They gotta get that composer back for the music in this game, because honestly, his music in the originals were great. You know, they gotta get the, the zombies, the robots, the aliens. They gotta remember to pack all that into this game. And it's gotta have its arcadey vibe and 
the option where you could choose offline bots because let's be real the offline bots were a really cool feature in the original time Splinters games and it made playing alone fun as well as the challenges in the arcade leagues they gotta make sure to bring all that back too just all around i hope that them making this new time Splinters game isn't too far separated from what makes the franchise great so I really hope they don't lose sight of what makes this franchise so special in turn for, I don't know, them trying to go down a Call of Duty route. Which, I don't think that they're going to do that just because of the fact that they got people who were around when the original games came out working on this next game. So I have some pretty strong hopes. However, I do hope that they add in some new features and new mechanics to keep the game fresh while also still keeping the same original vibe to the original games. I'm not sure how well this video is going to do because I rarely ever talk about time spoilers on here, but if you guys like it, just make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And share this video around if you want me to keep covering this. And if you're excited for time spoilers like I am, then share this around. Time Spoilers is actually one of the topics of videos I want to do, so if you guys like it, by all means, please share it around and get the word out. What do you guys think of Free Radical Design making a return and reviving Time Spoilers? I'm super excited about it, but let me know what you guys think, guys. I'm super excited that something I've been dreaming about for years is finally going to come true. But I'm out of here, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, to keep on flashing.